going to get under somebody's skin tonight. I'm going to make somebody mad. You're not going to like this. This is not going to float your boat because your pastor told you your entire life that you better not divorce your spouse and divorce is not of the most high yada 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 but what they didn't tell you was this scripture passage of scriptures that they snatched out of the bible so that they could convince you that polygyny was not accepted by the most high and give you this monogamous scam that is nowhere in the scripture whatsoever but look at this right here in the book of Sirach when I slide over to the Sirach, which is called Ecclesiasticus, which is one of the books that the scamified canon decided, uh, it's not inspired. I wonder why it wasn't inspired. But we're going to take a look at these verses here. And verse number 23 says, A wicked woman abates the courage, makes a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her man in distress makes weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to guide abroad. If she go not as you would have her, cut her off from your flesh, give her a sepher of divorce, and let her go. That's in the scriptures. So I need to know who took this out and where did they come up with their philosophy Instead of what the Most High Yah said. I'm the Minister M.L. Kimball. Be blessed on purpose.